Hi, today we're in Anza Brego Desert State Park. This is April 4th. We're in Henderson Canyon. Look at these beautiful wildflowers. Holy smokes. All over the place. Just gorgeous. This purple guy here, it's called a desert sand verbena. Abronia viosa. He's also called a chaparral sand verbena. He's a member of the four o'clock family. This guy, just gorgeous. Holy smokes, look at that. Beautiful leaves over this guy. So he's a native, annual, prostrate, creeping herb. He gets about six inches tall, about one to two feet wide. He loves these lower dry deserts, creosote bush communities, floodplains, the sandy soil like we have here. Look at this. Super, super sandy. Just loves it here. You find it from Arizona, California, Nevada, Utah, Baja, Mexico. He's real common out in Mojave, Sonoran deserts. They mostly appear at this ground cover after we have these great winter springs and rains. Wow. Just fantastic. We had a lot of rain this winter, so these guys are blooming like crazy. And the stems here, well, they lay prostrate to the ground to start with. Right here, big old growing mat of stems. Got that beautiful purple color. But then their branches, they kind of ascend upward as they start to stretch out. Let's get a good batch. I can show you something really cool. Wow. These guys are great. Okay. Here we go. How about this one? Right here. All right. And the stems, see how they're purplish? And they're a little bit hairy. Wow. And they're kind of sticky too. And they like to be sticky because when the sand hits them, the sand will stick. So when new sand hits these guys, it doesn't damage the leaves or the stems or the pretty little flowers we have here. The leaves here, where they're dull green, they're a little ovate shaped, a little roundish, elliptical. They're super, super fleshy. You have smooth margins, wavy edges here. They're about an inch long, and both sides are coated with sticky hairs. See that? So in the sand, I was telling you, if the sand hits these guys like that, it doesn't hurt them. Because the sand gets in there and acts like a little buffer. Super. These flowers here, they come out from February to May. They're pink, a little purple pink to lavender, even a bright magenta. So individual flowers here, they appear in clusters of about 15 flowers on one head. See that? It's a little flower heads here. Looks like it's a little smaller. This guy here, a little bit bigger. Wow, they're a little showy. They're trumpet shaped underneath. See that? They kind of extend outward like that. There's five petals. One, two, three, four, five. Very wavy. We got these little white centers. The stem and the anthers hidden inside there. So they don't ex extrude or they don't come out past the uh, flower heads. They kind of stick in there, make the pollinators work for that beautiful nectar. Yes, gorgeous. Holy smokes. The stems here underneath. Wow, that purple hairy stem. This whole plant has a really sweet fragrance. You get right up to it. Let's take some more. Look at this. Whole sea here. All over the place here in Priusota. Just fantastic. So it's all intermingled with other little flowers, plants. This guy here. It's called a Spanish needle. It's got that little flower all collected in the fillories there. A bunch of little flowers. Look at this guy. Wow. Now that is a super bloom. Holy smokes. This place is gorgeous. You gotta come down here. Anytime we have a wet winter for this gorgeous super bloom. How about that? Wow. Just gorgeous. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. I got lots more videos out here of Anzabrego. All these beautiful flowers out in our desert. Thanks. Have a great day.